My initial reaction was I knew something immediately had happened to Roxanne. I didn't know what, and I still don't know what happened to her, but it was unlike her not to contact me for anything. July of 2006, July 7th of 2006, uh, Roxanne was spending time with her boyfriend, Louis Walls, at the Budget Inn off of Runberg and 35 here in Austin. And um, I had talked to her the night before, and she was going to come home saying she's going to spend the one more night with him and she'll be home the next day. And the next day I didn't hear from her, so we had gone done our errands. And when I got back, Lewis called me and asked if I've seen Roxanne. And I asked him, what do you mean, have I seen Roxanne? She's been with you. He's told me that they had an argument um, and she walked out. He told me that he went after her and she said, leave me alone and he went back to the hotel room to cool off for 20 minutes or so, went out looking for her again, and she hasn't been seen since. And I think I truly believe the truth lies with her boyfriend, and if you just come forward and tell us, we were doing this, we were involved in this, these people were with us or whatever, we could connect the dots. But he is so concerned about his reputation and looking bad that that's his most concerned right now, even though we have his criminal record to tell us otherwise. Over here we have an area that we set up for Roxanne. As we leave every day, we come and say hi to her and we'd light a candle for her. We used to have a lot of candles at the bottom here. There's hundreds of them. We finally got rid of them. It's just um, a place that we dedicate to Roxanne, just her personal belongings like this um, blanket that she made and some paintings that she made down here when she was younger, her baby pictures, some of her awards. She was gonna become, she wanted to go into cosmetology and she won a couple of awards here in Austin and some crosses that a friend made and family photos. And this is just a place as we leave out the door, we come in, you know, we say good morning or good night to Roxanne and we try to have a candle lit for her all the time. I had a, a dance appointment one morning by where her boyfriend stays at. So after this appointment, we're coming home, and on the bus stop, we're seeing my sister Roxanne. And it was early in the morning, as I remember, I think she was coming home, and we pulled over, and her nose was completely, like, broken, like, swollen, and so her black eyes. And after Roxanne uh, went missing, we found out from one of her best friends that Lewis was the one who hit her and broke her nose, and Roxanne lied and covered it up for Lewis. Because if we would have found out that Lewis hit her, my mom, oh, dude, shoot, my mom wouldn't have that, you know. That's why Roxanne had a lie to stay with this man. So he's the kind of guy that goes after younger girls because young girls go follow their hearts. Young girls say when a guy, an older guy says, I love you, I need you, they believe it. It happens more, often more times you know, that y'all really believe. I see it all the time that, you know, these young girls, you know, they just are searching for something. I don't know, but um, so I believe he, he, he uses manipulation to, you know, keep her and then just, you know, the hitting started and that just traps girls in. Yeah, I have a lot of sisters. You probably see me and think it's them or you see them and think it's, it's me. Sam. And it's because she's got a twin named Ronica too, so yeah. they just kind of... When you say the Paltoff kids, it's, you know, and they all, nobody can remember their name and they all look the same. <laughs> and it's very confusing to people, you know, and stuff, unless you get to know them. It can be overwhelming at times, but we've learned to live a new normal now without her. And we try to be positive and go forward and do whatever we possibly can to find her. And we will continue to do that, you know, as long as I shall live. And as long as Rosa shall live, we'll continue to always search for Roxanne until we find her or find the answers that we've been looking for. Roxanne, if you can hear us, just know that we love you very, very much. We've been searching for you for so long, and we're just trying to do anything we possibly can to bring you home back to us. We don't know what happened to you, and we need to find you. Our family's incomplete without you, and we love you with all our heart and we'll go to the ends of the earth to find you. And if there's anybody out there that knows where you are at, please come forward and let us know. We need this for our family. We need this closure and we need to find our Roxanne. Thank you. Mm -hmm.